Hey, what's going on? This is my demo of my Pioneer App Radio 3 connecting to my Samsung Galaxy S5 with full mirror and touch capabilities. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is actually because I found it a little bit difficult for my Galaxy S5 to not only mirror to my Pioneer App Radio 3, but to also have the full touch support. Uh, the primary reason being is that the uh, SE Linux kernel is actually set to enforcing. Um, and uh, if you uh, can't change that, then you won't have the ability to have uh, the touch control. You'll only be able to mirror. Uh, my, my original setup was using the Samsung dongle, um, only to find that uh, you know would not be able to use a dongle once I had changed my SE Linux to uh, permissive. So uh, I have this set up actually in a uh, Gen 2 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, this is the first truck that I've had in a long time that does not have the capability of connecting to my phone for music as well as for Bluetooth. Uh, so that was my primary reason to find another head unit. And in my search, I was looking up you know, various units and found some pretty neat ones. I was uh, primarily thinking of actually going for the... Um, the Parrot Asteroid device. Uh, it has Android built into it as the operating system. You just need a way of connecting to the internet, whether it's you know using your phone as a hotspot or some other source. And from there, you can download full apps from the App Store. Um, you can even root the device, and um, you know that all looked pretty cool. But the um, one aspect of it was that it was a completely separate device. It was like having a tablet built into my uh, truck here. Um, what I wanted to be able to do is have my phone on the display. Uh, so that way I can control things like apps that I already have running, so I don't have to have them in two places, as well as have the ability to you know, see incoming calls, um, incoming text messages, uh, anything else that I might want to have on my phone. That way I don't have to pull it out of my pocket uh, or anything else. I can just use full Google Voice to control everything and have it right there, easy to see, less distracting, safer way of communicating on the road. So um, let's get right into it. So I uh, do have the Samsung Galaxy S5. And to go into a little bit more detail as far as my build here, let me unlock the device, go into settings, go into about device. And you can notice here that I am running um, KitKat 4.4.2 and go into the kernel version. Um, as well as you can see here is that the SE the Linux is actually set to permissive. This is the key aspect to be able to have the touch controls and it's something with the Samsung Galaxy S5 that uh, is a bit more difficult when they did the KitKat update. Um, there's no way to actually change that setting um, to uh, permissive from enforcing. Uh, I tried various ways and uh, just could not seem to go about it. So I went ahead and uh, updated a, a route um, it's a route that I actually found on XDA forums uh, that had a updated kernel um, that allowed it to be set to the SE permissive. Um, one thing that happened though is that my functionality with the uh, Samsung uh, mirroring capabilities uh, such as with my, my doggle uh, went away. I uh, went to try and connect um, after I was done with the, um, the route. Um, or flash, I should say, and it uh, would uh, toggle on and off. It would not allow me to connect. So it was, um, you know, it was just kind of a, a bit tough. So what I had and did is I got Chromecast. Uh, Chromecast is uh, it just recently released their ability to mirror. Um, and uh, so I thought that, hey, that could be great. And um, I did a little bit of research, but not much. Went out and bought it just because it was cheaper than the doggo anyhow and um, purchased it and found that you know that it needs to work off of a wi-fi connection um, so no matter how hard i tried it was really tough and it looked like i was going to need to have another um, internet source to be able to connect so that way it could be set as a controller um, and that way the phone could be connected to wi-fi and also have the um, chromecast on the same networks so that way they could communicate I was able to um, change that a bit um, and enforcing it as a, as a hotspot. So um, toggle on the hotspot, go into Chromecast, then go into Cast Screen. It's got the device. 
and you go on to this here and voila this will turn into your home screen button uh, change the orientation I do have tasker I just haven't set it up yet so all this will be automatic as soon as I'm uh, done uh, setting all those parameters and uh, using the Nova launcher here I like the way that their layout is um, when mirroring and, and set onto a screen size this large uh, with this orientation um, and I have full um, full touch controls so I can um, change anything I can pull my drop down I can um, oh, it didn't go low enough. Um, open a text I can browse the internet I could play a video, make a call, see any messages that came through, download an app, go into my navigation function, and open up maps or waves, and uh, go from there. So that way my phone can just go in the center console, have a charging, and have my full phone functionality on my display. And there you have it. So. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'm happy to help and we'll see you next time.